Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel, Inspired by r, &R. Happy New Year, y'all. Happy New Year. All right, I'm Richard. This is my beautiful wife, Ronya. Uh -oh. Today we have a review for you guys from this website called Brandless.com. Babe, you want to tell them a little bit about Brandless? Yes. Right. Okay, so Brandless is an online grocery store. And you're probably thinking, well, what's the catch to an online grocery store? Well, the online grocery store, everything in the store is $3. Oh my God. $3, that's it. $3, everything, all of this stuff we got for $3. Well, individually, yeah. yeah. That would be like theft if that we got all this yeah. for $3. But. Maybe you want to tell them why everything is $3 in the store? Yeah, of course. Um, the reason why everything is able to be $3 is because Brandless actually is able to bypass the brand tax because um, the name brand is Brandless. There's no brand name associated with um, their product. So um, I didn't even realize that there's a brand tax associated with most name brand items, which makes it cost more than it should. Yeah. So that so was an interesting fact. Yeah. Well, I guess um, without further ado, we can go ahead and just tell you what we did. We yeah. we did this over the course of a month. That way we could really test all the products out and give you our true um, review, unbiased right. review. Um, one thing I do want to mention about Brandless is they donate a meal to a person in need um, that's hungry or yeah. family in need. Um, from every purchase and they partner with Feeding America. So yeah. that's something in itself that it just made us want to say, okay, let's go ahead and try them. Right, and also um, their company features all natural products. There are no preservatives in their products. Everything is 100% natural, no animal cruelty stuff and all that. So right. um, it just makes you feel better about making your purchases and it's also $3, so yeah. can't go wrong with that. You know, Perfect. so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and move from right to left, left to right, whatever you want to do, babe, and just to uh, explain to them what we have and what we thought of it. Yeah. So. Okay. So the first thing we got was the quinoa puffs. As you can see, the bag is empty. Yeah. And uh, these were awesome. Definitely delicious. Hot. We don't want to um, say anything negative about this. Nah, you know like they were great. Like we tried to purchase them again, they were sold out. They were sold out, so, so apparently other people like them too. Yeah, very good. The uh, tomato basil hummus crisp. Yeah. There's two of them. We got the tomato basil and we got the barbecue. That's oh, I here. thought those were the barbecue. No, nah, I didn't like these. Ronya loves them. <laughs> I thought they kind of taste like the um, the sun chips, tomato, is it tomato basil that the sun chips have? Mm -hmm. It doesn't quite taste like those, but um, Ronya loves them. They still, like those. they still taste good. I'm gonna stick with the barbecue over here, the sweet. Um, barbecue pop potato crisp, these things are delicious. I love them. Um, you'll probably like these too, if like tomato basil is your taste, yeah. but you know, it just depends on what you like. All right, so the maple cinnamon twist, Richard like these? I didn't. Well, I think you I li said I they like were them. okay. Yeah, they're okay. Um, the only thing about it, I expected them to taste kind of like a crunchy churro. Um, they don't quite taste like just cinnamon and sugar. It has like a maple taste to it, which yeah. hence the name. I should have known. Maple but, um, cinnamon twist. I'll definitely finish them, but they weren't my favorite. Yeah, so but, if yeah. you're looking at these online yeah. and you're thinking like, oh, I like cinnamon and sugar, like, trust me, they literally taste like maple. Yeah. So maple cinnamon, the cinnamon, you really can't taste. It tastes just like maple syrup. So yeah. I didn't care for them. Yeah. Um, okay. They have the strawberry fruit spread made with cane sugar. 
Um, I love strawberry jelly. I have Smucker's jelly, so I kind of compared the two of these, and I she actually pr pr prefer this over Smucker's. Um, it just had a more natural taste to me, and it's really good. You have to refrigerate immediately after opening, so make sure you do that uh, since everything is all natural. All right, we're about to throw this back in the fridge when, as soon as we get done. Yeah. All right, um, let me see something. Let me. Uh, barbecue? Yeah, barbecue sauce. This, uh, this was all right. I like it. Um, and sometime in the video, I don't know when, but we'll give you guys a closer you know, view of everything. But. This barbecue sauce, it was okay. It really didn't have too much of a taste to it, mm -hmm. um, to me, and it had, it had an aftertaste. Yeah, so, a bad aftertaste. Yeah, and I mean, it only has 40 calories per serving. It's very nutritious and natural, but it just wasn't my favorite. So if you like a really hearty uh, barbecue sauce, you may not wanna go with this, but then, like I say, your taste may be different from ours. We just didn't like it too much, so. Yeah. All right, moving right along. We'll try to speed this up for you guys. Yeah. Uh, apple cider vinegar. Um, this one has the mother um, raw, unfiltered, organic, raw apple cider vinegar. Yeah. It's three dollars. It comes in a glass uh, container. Yeah. Awesome. Bought two of them. We're still working on the first one. And the organic virgin coconut oil. This stuff is awesome. What we did to make it last longer is we put it in a mason jar and we did half and half. Yeah. So you can yep, use yep. it for your cooking, your hair, your skin, everything. It's awesome. This it's is gonna be stuff. another plus. I use it on my beard. Well, the beard that I'm trying to grow in. It's actually getting a little thicker, so. Yeah. It's working. Um, go ahead. The extra virgin olive oil, no complaints here. So definitely that would be a, a hot to keep. And the honey as well, the raw organic honey. Um, we also got multivitamins. Um, we were kind of skeptical about this at first because it has 30 multivitamins in it and we were wondering like, okay, what kind of quality can you get for $3? Right. These things have been amazing. Um, they have the men's multivitamin, the women's multivitamin, as well as uh, we purchased the greens and antioxidant blend multivitamins. Everything, it works great. Um, there's no headaches after um, taking it. If you miss a couple days, you don't have any type of withdrawal, anything uh, from any added ingredients in it. So we really loved it and we will continue to purchase the vitamins. Um, I also use the body wash. Um, Ronnie really didn't like it too much because it didn't have a smell. That doesn't mean that it doesn't work. Um, it has uh, tea tree, um, oatmeal extract and I think something else I'm not gonna look through it but it works very well not too much of a scent so if you're a scent person um, you may not like it but it it cleans you well and it doesn't dry your skin out so yeah facial cleaner um, the facial cleaner I like it um, this also doesn't have well, it has a little citrusy yeah, scent to it. Grapefruit, I think. Grapefruit scent to it. Cleans your face very well. Um, it's really good. My face is a little sensitive. My skin is a little sensitive, so it's erroneous. Mm -hmm. Didn't break us out or anything. Great product, all natural. Yeah. Um, you can tell them a little bit about the cleaning solutions since I didn't use Okay, that. so they have several cleaning solutions on there. We got the tub and tile cleaner, comes in the summer breeze scent as well as the multi-surface cleaner, summer breeze. Yeah. So we purchased the multi-surface um, cleaner first, loved it, that's why it's about halfway full. And we got the tub and tile cleaner second and didn't like this one. It doesn't really, I don't know if maybe it's because I use a lot of oils and butters and body creams on my body and I I just rather use like Comet and bleach to clean yeah. out the tub rather than this. It feels like I had to do an extra elbow grease with this. But this stuff, it was really good. I used it on the floors, um, I mean it's multi, multi-surface so bathtub everything but this one and eh, not so much all right and um just a few more things a few more items here tell them about you oh that's your favorite soup there oh gosh okay so <laughs> my favorite soup at panera is called the autumn squash soup it, it's seasonal so i bought this it's called butternut squash soup thinking okay it's gonna taste like mm. panera yeah, no. This one, it just tastes like warm water. It didn't have a taste at all, and I was very disappointed. So if you're thinking about Panera in the autumn squash soup, it's not right. gonna taste like that. And doesn't mean that it's not healthy for you. It's vegan, it has you know all natural ingredients in it, but it just wasn't good taste. It wasn't my cup um, of tea. 
I guess last but not least, well, I had a few things, a few other things that I had. I had some pistachios. They were great. They came in like a, I think a three to four ounce container. He threw the bag away. Three dollars. Threw the bag away. I'm sorry. She got mad at me, but I mean, I was just trying to throw my trash away. Sorry. Um, I did get some teriyaki beef jerky. Teriyaki. Teriyaki. Mm -hmm. Right. That's how you say it, right? Teriyaki. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You just said it funny. Teriyaki. I got some teriyaki <laughs> beef jerky. <laughs> um, it was good. It tasted just like teriyaki beef jerky. Um, if you do eat beef jerky, you know how expensive it can be for just a little bit. Um, it was a good good bit in here uh, for $3, so I would buy it again. Yeah. It was good. So um, overall, I guess this purchase, what are we going to give it? A thumbs up, thumbs down? We'll give Brandless a... Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Thank you, Hopefully thank you. this helps you in your decision if you decide to uh, make a purchase on brandless.com. And also shipping, you guys might be thinking there's a catch with the shipping. We only paid a dollar for shipping. That's right. So each item was $3 and shipping was a dollar. Yeah. So. And you know, everything you may not be willing to pay $3 for, but a lot of this stuff is definitely worth much more than $3. Mm -hmm. um, we love the brand, the site, and there are certain things that we will continue to purchase from them. So mm -hmm. thank you guys for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Peace.